What is up, everyone? My name is Ethan from Wet n Wild Outdoors. And in case you're not getting the vibe here, we are on a hunting trip. It is November 16th. It's Thursday. I'm heading up for the gun season on public land in central Wisconsin. This is a first annual deer camp, so I only know one guy that's going to be there. The rest of them are all out of staters or um, really it's just a bunch of a group of guys that are scattered across the map uh, that this one individual knew so I'm pretty excited um, gonna be able to meet a bunch of people today we should all be getting in around I don't know one one o'clock two o'clock in the afternoon uh, but I am stoked public land we're gonna scout tomorrow um, and then we're gonna hit the deer woods Saturday morning I'm pretty happy I've never hunted here I've never done a deer camp. This is all new to me. But uh, I got the 3006 and I got the 3030 in the back seat with me. So I'm pretty stoked. The truck is packed to the full. I'm gonna be camping out of my truck this weekend until uh, till Tuesday. So let's do this thing. We're just south of Whitewater and we still got two and a half hours to go. So let's get after it. Let's go get us a freaking deer. I'll turn the camera back on. I'm probably gonna stop a quick trip on the way. Grab the essentials. It's deer season, baby. Welcome hunters. That's what I like to see. Let's do this. quick trip and uh, load up load up on the essentials yeah I'm excited there's so many people dressed in orange on the way up here right now it's unbelievable oh that's exit 89 oh almost missed her almost missed your butt okay which direction though I didn't film in there because people were looking at me like a weirdo, but basically just got some, I've been coughing like a madman, so I had to get some cough drops and some burger ingredients. And then, of course, the most essential. That thing ain't going nowhere, son. up my last of my burger supplies. I'm gonna be cooking venison burgers one of these nights here for the guys. And uh, I'm stoked. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This is something I've always wanted to do. And now I feel, um, I don't know, feel a lot of different emotions. It's finally happening. I'm a part of a deer camp, the first annual deer camp. So we're gonna be there in no time. I'm flying down the highway right now. Straight northeast on Highway 90. All right, everybody, we're all set up at camp. A couple more people coming in, but this is what we got going on so far. So I'm gonna be staying in the back of the truck. Got the heater in there, Jackery, memory foam mattress. But we're ready to go. We're gonna get after it. We're gonna wake up in the morning. I don't know how early, but we're gonna get out there. We're gonna scout. I don't know if I'm gonna film for the rest of the evening or not. It's gonna get dark here pretty shortly uh, within the next half hour or so. So uh, I'm just gonna get settled up and uh, hopefully get some deer action going by Saturday morning. We'll see how much filming we do. I'm sure I'm gonna film some of the dinners, but stay tuned. 
Let's get after it, wet and wild outdoors, baby. What's going on, everybody? So, today, Thursday, excuse me. What's going on, everybody? So today, Friday, Orange Friday in the state of Wisconsin, uh, we spent all day scouting today from the road and from the ground, mostly road scouting. Uh, none of us have ever been here, so we just want to get kind of an idea, layout of the land. Uh, but I do have the orange laid out right now. That's the bed situation. Opening day tomorrow, we're gonna get after it. Got a million waypoints. I'm probably gonna head south, south part of this land. Saw a lot of good thick sign, just like what I usually hunt down at home. So that's what I'm comfortable with. And uh, I don't know, we're gonna get after it, but time for some military stories and deer stories and sitting around the fire tonight. We're gonna be having, uh, I don't know, one of these Alabama dudes are cooking up hot cakes or hoe cakes, I think. Poor man's cornbread. So, pretty excited for that. Everyone is still out scouting right now, so we're cracking open a couple cold uh, beverages and waiting for the, the guys to get back. So, stay tuned. Should be dicey this weekend. A lot of deer out right now. We got meat for the pole, baby. Hell yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a fucking drag. But we, we are down in Wisconsin. Let's do it. I think this is a good area. I think there might be some buck potential, so I'm gonna hang tight. Get after it. See that. 
Buddy. It's a deer. Deer down. Nice. Well, I left the deer on the side of this road with my hat on it and my my uh, hunting pack on it. And uh, luckily for me, I got a 700 yard walk up this hill to the truck. And from there, I'm just gonna take it down, scoop the deer up and uh, head back to camp. So sounds like three of us got a deer this year, or this, this morning. And uh, a few others saw a lot of deer. So sounds like the group had a decent morning. So I'm excited to see how everyone's morning went, what they saw, and uh, get some water and food in. So heading back to the truck. The base of a tree, just sat down and listened, and I could hear like deer every once in a while. And then I could hear like a person slam a car door, and then I'd hear deer start trotting off my direction. Like, what is up with these bear suits? So warm. <laughs> so this morning when I texted, the guys said a couple hundred yards down from yeah. it. Yeah. Got some blood on my scope. Good problem to have, I guess, having blood on the scope. Good afternoon, folks. So, I punched my antlerless deer tag this morning. So now, this evening, going for a buck. Looks like I'm the only one back here. I'll be hunting a river system, similar to something I hunt back at home on the public lands by me. So we're gonna go and scout this around, spend the rest of the evening somewhere on this river, and uh, give it hell. In my opinion, if I'm gonna shoot a big swamp donkey, you gotta be hunting the swamp. So that's what led me here. I'm sticking to it. It's not gonna be easy walking in here, but if I can find a setup that I'm confident in. I'll be good to go for the evening, so let's get after it. I'm gonna shut up. And get back to you guys when I'm at the next spot. Stay tuned. I think this could get dicey. Well, I didn't see any this afternoon. Um, <coughs> I learned a lot though. I didn't come out empty-handed. Um, at some point in the season, these bucks use that river a lot. I mean, a lot. There's still some fresh scrapes in there, so that's telling me at least that there's buck movement coming through at some point in 24 hours. Uh, there was a fresh scrape right off the bat that still had mud on the leaves. Um, and I, I think that there's a lot of deer back there. It's just gotta be the right moment for it. So um, this was the north end of the river that I just checked out this afternoon. I think in the morning I'm going to check the south end of the river or I'm going to go hit the same spot I did this morning um, on that big ridge, the big oak ridge. I don't know. I'm going to draw up a game plan for tomorrow morning, get back to camp. Probably going to stop by a few spots just to get a, an idea on parking locations just in case my, my plan A doesn't work in the morning. And uh, yeah, we'll get after it. So, didn't see any deer, but I learned a lot, which is just as equally important to me. Right on. Let's get a buck, man. Let's get a buck. Oh boy! Mm, ah! Those 
those foolish people out there out hunting right now. Oh, oh. That'll do it. That will do it. Come on. Everything's got frost all over it. Big ones too. Couldn't shoot them if you had to. Couldn't, yeah. Couldn't Wouldn't be able to. Yeah. yeah, so I was hoping maybe a buck was in there somewhere yeah. and would have stirred yeah. things up and he would have popped up, but never did. Yeah. I climbed about 15 feet up into a, a tree. Yeah. Yeah, and just wedged myself up there for four hours. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be nice to be young again. Yeah, right? It hurt. It really hurt. Oh, My legs fell asleep. Well, there's the buck. Nice tick on his ear. They shot the antler off. But what are you gonna do? Can't eat the horns anyway. Now we got some meat on the pole. It's a nice doe there. That's awesome. Looks like a butcher house over here. Brandon got him a little Wisconsin buck, baby. Tagged out. <laughs> but it all Wisconsin direction I just found out about is you got a shotgun an old bush latte off a deer handler. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, give it a old wacky whack and chuggy chug chug. <laughs> on a one and a two, two and a three. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, everybody, I'm getting ready for bed, but decided to uh, make me some soup before I get to bed, and some hot water. We are here in the truck camper, we're eating soup, so, clam chowder's on the menu for tonight, and uh, got some hot water in the thermos next to me. And we're gonna get to bed. So appreciate y'all watching. Well everybody, we are packing up deer camp. It's Tuesday, fourth day of season. We end up finishing with seven deer. Two of them are hard horn box. Four of them are button box. And then uh, a doe. So that'd be seven. The blaze orange is getting packed up, tents are getting packed up, and the camper is getting packed up. We're gonna hit the road. Well, and just like that, we are out of deer camp, folks. Everybody had a great time. Uh, everyone traveled from all over the country, and it was a great time overall. Everyone got to see a lot of different uh, terrain features, a lot of different diversity in the field. So, uh, all in all, we all learned a lot about the property. We learned about one another. It was a great time. I couldn't ask for anything more in a deer camp. I know this might not have been a very content filled video. Uh, however, most of the time I was just spending time talking. I was doing the camaraderie thing of deer camp, you know, and uh, and I don't regret any bit of it not filming as much as I did because I really did have a great time. So some things are better off on capture, you know what I'm saying? So we got a three hour drive back home looks like we're gonna get home about one o'clock so gonna take it easy probably gonna stop at a few quick trips on the way and uh, I don't know we got a deer to butcher when we get home so as soon as I get home I'm gonna unpack the truck and I'm gonna get after that get that button buck taken care of thank you guys all for watching wet and wild outdoors we'll catch you on the next one keep it real well everybody just got the deer hung up and butchered uh, Totally caped everything out. And uh, this is all we got for my small deer. All 74 pounds of it field dressed. Just got back straps, tenderloins, neck roast, hind roast, football roast, and grind pile here. Uh, just made it pretty simple for me. 
Uh, we got a lot of deer in the freezer, so it kind of got a little crazy with the grind pile. Um, but you can do so much with grind, meatballs, hamburger, chili, you name it, you know. So we got a lot of deer still left over to eat. Um, and that chest freezer's even got a uh, full deer in it as well. So we're, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get out of here. Get ready to package this meat up tomorrow and uh, get on to the next hunts. Thank you guys for watching. Wet and Wild Outdoors. Keep it real. Tell them that you like it this way. Well, it's the work that we afford. Yeah, we're all the seven boys. We like to work and nothing all day. And I've been taking care of business every day. Taking care of business everywhere. Girl, I've been taking care of